hey guys welcome to my channel quick little intro here my name is renee thank you guys so much for tuning in here is my glowy spring look for you guys i hope you guys think it's cute i think it's cute <laughs> um thank you guys so much for tuning in like i said don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on my social media uh, Instagram and Twitter Renee CW13 and Snapchat Renee CW2013. If you guys like this look, go ahead and keep watching, girl, and I'll go see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay. <laughs> hey y'all. So I already did my eyebrows, like I said in the intro. But um, yeah, we're just gonna do a nice springy, glowy, you know, look or whatever. I have work in like 45 minutes so you know it's gonna be a quick look easy for y'all to do um if y'all in a rush or whatever so i've been using the jocelyn hill palette this has been literally my baby and this is kind of the look i did for my um graduation pictures if you guys saw that vlog um but i'm gonna switch it up just a little bit so not as bold i guess or i don't know more I don't know you'll just see how it come out <laughs> kind of just going for it and seeing what we get so I'm just oh I'm not even showing y'all what I'm doing what is wrong with me so I'm using this tan color and mixed with this color to just put over my um, what is this called eyebrow bone um, and then I'm about to prime my eyelids with some concealer I'm just gonna use this NYX uh, photo HD photogenic studio concealer and it is in the color 7.5 nutmeg I think I don't know whatever 7.5 so I just put this on my eyelids just because I don't really like how it looks on my skin tone as a under eye concealer I think it's the one I don't like yeah so but we're making use of our money and we're going to use it somehow. And just dab that out. So yeah, I just want to let y'all know that I posted some stuff on my Poshmark. I used to use Poshmark a long time ago. No, this is not a sponsored video. Like every other YouTube and their mama getting sponsored by Poshmark right now. But um, just want to let you guys know I, I uploaded some new stuff. They're pretty cute, I guess. Some cute shoes I just don't wear anymore. And I'm going to upload some more clothes and stuff too. Um, most of my shoes are eight and a half and nine so if you're in that range or eight to nine you know you'll just eat. go look everything's literally five dollars so super affordable <laughs> and because i already won them so you know i feel like they don't need to be expensive and they're not like you know super high in name brand there is a few steve madden on there though but again it's just five dollars so go check it out if you're into steve madden i'm just um putting some loose setting powder on my eyelids to set that concealer in place but yeah so check that out i'm gonna go in with this hmm, this color here as a transition color it's like an orangey brown brown and yellow ish color just gonna put that in the crease as a transition color And then I'm going to go in with the color right next to it as well. This orange color. It's like an orange brick. Just very lightly though. And put that on the crease as well. More so just on the outer side of the crease for this color. Okay. So that's done. I'm trying to think like what to talk about. Because I really don't. No, but I wanted to film this video for you guys and I didn't want to do a voiceover because that's just like extra and I didn't feel like it. So <laughs> next I'm going to go in with this yellow color right here on the end. It is called Creamsicle. So the colors are on the back, I forgot. So I'm going to just put this literally all over my lid and it's a nice yellow creamy color and I really like it. And yes, chocolate girls can wear a yellow eyeshadow okay it looks really nice on us so don't be scared just pack it on there i feel like it'll be really pretty if i wet the brush first but we don't got time for all that because we're about to go to work in like 30 40 minutes so 
just packing it on the lid and plus i haven't tried how it looks yet with wetting the brush so i don't want it to look stupid or not come out right but i feel like it will come out nice but it is a matte color so i really don't know how that will work out that's not like a shimmer when we done so now we can go back in with this orange color and just blend out a little bit on the edges let's make it blend more I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and just go over that And then go back over into yellow just to fill in the inside there. There we go. We're done with this for now. Um, I'm just going to clean up under my eyes. Okay. And then we're going to use our e.l.f. Um, what is this called? Eyeliner <laughs> to line our lids. Okay, so eyeliner's done. Now we're just gonna take some mascara and go over my lashes a little bit. Quick life update. I um, graduate on May 19th at 1.30 from Cal State San Marcos, so I'm super excited. So literally 34 days, I believe, till graduation. It's so surreal. And I just took my grab pictures. Go check out that vlog, like I mentioned before. <laughs> um, if you guys are interested in that, and I'm going to post some pictures on my social media um, starting 30 days from graduation. So 30 days pre-graduation or whatever. So make sure you guys are following me on social media if you guys want to see those. Also, don't forget to like subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Because I know some of y'all are not subscribed. But go ahead and subscribe. Um, thank you guys for joining me today. Okay. That's good. We don't need to put a lot of mascara because... I'm putting on lashes if I have time. Let me see what time it is. Okay, it's 10 06. I literally have 10 minutes, so I need to leave for work because I need to leave my house like 10 minutes ish um, before I have work and I work at 10 30. So, okay, let me finish up really quick. So, next, I need to prime my face with this. Uh, I think this is my benefit. Yeah, benefit for professional pore primer. So I literally just like been doing this like on my T-zone because that's where I get the most oily. Oops, I put a lot on my nose. Whatever. It'll blend out. This little baby thing was $15. But I see I notice a difference. Honestly, I really do. And I hate to say it because it's $15. So I thought we'll buy it again. When it run out, but I had it for like over a month now, and I still have it. So I guess that's pretty good because I only use it in my T zone area, and also like I'm starting this like thing where I only wear makeup on the weekends just so my skin can breathe because I was wearing makeup every day, and I feel like that was contributing to me breaking out a lot more. So now I only wear makeup on the weekends and like special occasions. If I have a special occasion like during the week or something. So yeah. So now we're going to take our Fenty Girl. Okay. And um, I have my Beauty Blender here. It's by the Real Techniques one. And we're just going to spray it on two pumps. Like really one because it's like two halves, whatever. But we're using that for our whole face. You know, during the spring and summer, it gets hot, so I don't like a lot of foundation on because I don't, I don't know, it's just, I don't need all that, okay? I'm gonna be sweating, it's hot, I don't need it dripping down my skin. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna take our Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Hazelnut. I like this one. Um, I used to use Cafe, but I like this one better because it's not as 
white on my skin tone like the cafe one was yellow but it also had too much like white on it so made me look ashy And I don't like to set with that loose powder that I used for my eyes just because I feel like it leaves a white cast. So I literally just set with this Maybelline Fit Me um, powder in coconut, which is just one shade lighter than what my other, my like face shade is, which I use Mocha. I just learned that baking is not for me and you know that's okay because it's not for everybody so it's... okay and then we're gonna set the rest of our face with the mocha powder so for contour I don't really contour I kind of bronze but I bronze with the um what is this called an eyeshadow because I just haven't found a, a good one to match my skin tone yet so I literally just take this a little bit darker brown than my skin tone to warm me up okay and like that and I'm done because we don't got time if I go out that's different but just for like an everyday glowy weekend look whatever you want to do this is good enough sis okay so I use this Maybelline fit me I love Maybelline y'all uh, fit me blush in the color 50 r 100 it doesn't have a color 55 55 that's what it is 55 but it doesn't have like a color name so we just use this on the cheekbones girl And I like to bring it up into my, you know, area. Okay, sis. We almost done. Okay, so now we just need some highlights. And we about to be glowing. Okay, I'm about to see what time it is. See if I got time to put my eyelashes on. Because... Okay, sis. Highlight is on. Y'all saw I highlighted cheeks nose forehead eyebrows and a tear duct that's how you glow during the spring okay it's 10 14 let me try to put these eyelashes on real quick i'll be right back okay sis eyelashes are on i hope you guys can kind of tell the difference i can we're just gonna top it off with some lip gloss bite um by mac favorite lip gloss right type of nude for chocolate skin just a tiny bit of sparkle. And just like that, sis, you're ready for spring. Okay? You're ready. So, I'm going to set it off with some Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. And you're good to go. Okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me go to work. Okay? Before I'm about to be late. And I will chit-chat with you guys a little later. Bye. Love you.